How is it going out there, everybody? This is Speedboy14 on my playthrough of New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the Nintendo 3DS. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really, really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it. Be notified every time my new videos come out. Excuse me. Exciting feature of the channel. You can request your favorite level or your favorite world in the game in the comments below. Excuse me. Since in World 2, I was asking you what, what was your favorite power-up, this video, let me know down in the comments below for question of the video. What is your least favorite Mario power-up? I would really love to know. If I had to pick my least favorite Mario power-up, probably the mini mushroom because it makes you mini and then if you get hit once you get killed. But another runner-up for one of the worst ones would be the Spring Mario suit because that definitely is one of the worst suits I've ever seen in a Mario game. That's not one of my favorites by any means at all. Like, it's more of a hassle than, like, a benefit to Mario's repertoire or Mario's gameplay. Like, the spring suit is just really annoying to control. Like, it's almost impossible to control. That's how difficult that thing is to use. I do not like that power-up too much. It's one of the worst power-ups I've ever used in, in any Mario game, hands down. So, um... There we go. That's why the spring suit happens to be the one of the worst suits I've ever used. If I had to pick the worst suit, it would have to be the mini mushroom without a doubt. But, um, another power up I'm not too fond of, I'm kind of not too fond of the boomerang suit either. I don't know why. Boomerang suit ain't that bad. It just doesn't, it, it just doesn't do too much special. And I'm not, and I'm not too fond of the poison mushroom either, because it acts as getting hit if you use the poison mushroom. So, um... This level also has a secret exit. World 5 is very easy in this game. It's one of my favorite worlds in this game. Um, so, I love World 5 in this game. It is epic, and it is really awesome. So you have to go here. The secret exit here is a little tricky to do, but I mean, it's not hard by any means. It's just tricky. You have to climb this beanstalk up, and then you go here. Here's how you do it. You just have to bounce off these paratroopas right here. It's a little tricky, but, but once you get it down, it's not too hard. I don't think World 5 is going to have too many secret exits to do anyway. World 5, this world's pretty easy, of course. And we unlocked a path to the Boo House. Of course there's a secret exit in the Boo House. All Boo Houses have a secret exit. This Boo House might be my favorite Boo House in the game. I love this Boo House. This Boo House is awesome. It can be tedious if you're a beginner because of figuring out what to do, but once you know what to do, it's easy. Like, it's easy, trust me, it's not hard. Alright. Mm -hmm. So just be careful here. This really ain't too bad. First dark one, pretty easy, that's all you gotta do. Okay, what I do here? I don't know what to do here. Cause I know you can go up there, but. I know it's possible to go up there. I don't know. I don't remember. I know if you have the Tanuki suit, you can do it easily. You can do it easily with the Tanuki suit. It's possible without it too, but I assume it is, but... 
What's up here? I'm just gonna keep flying so I can look. It's nice to go up here just to see. This is a cool area, I think. I don't think we even had to go up there. Um, that was cool. I just wanted to do. I just wanted to check out something. It looked cool. Nothing special. All right. So right here. We have to hit the switch, and then we have to go in one of these doors. <clears throat> what exit is this? Is this the regular or secret exit? I really don't know, but... It doesn't matter anyway. It is a secret exit! <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I want to do, um... The last two star coins and then the regular exit. So, um, we're gonna go back and get the last two star coins. This boat house is very easy, actually, like I've already said. Maybe the easiest boat house in the entire game. It's rather that or the one in World 6. The one in World 6 is really easy, too. Okay, so... I think originally there was um, something right here where you... Oh, there is a vine! I don't want to go up there this time. I want to go another way, the other way. I want to go to this other door right here. And see what it, what it does. Okay. I just thought I would knock out the secret exit first. Okay, nothing's up there. Okay, let's look up here. Because I'm trying to get the star coins, of course. So just dodge these. That is... The second star coin. Where's the third star coin? I don't really remember where it's at, but I do know how to get it. I do know how to get it when you do get to it. There we go! Oh, yeah. I didn't even remember what was that. How did I find it so easily without remembering it? I guess because this game is easy, I guess. Like, this game really is so easy and everything. <laughs> I guess one of the easier Mario games. Okay. So, right here. We gotta go up here. We gotta climb this now. Wow, that was easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Well, now we gotta use these. To get up here, up here, and then just glide to the top of the flight pole for the win. <laughs> Mario one. I did it. That was, that was easy. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and do 5-A. Let's go. Oh, I love this level. This level is epic. This level also has a secret exit, but it's easy to do. And this level is fun. I love it. It's a slow pace. Ah, oh, not a good way to start, but not a bad way to start. It could have been a little better, but First star coin, very easy, that's all you gotta do. <clears throat> okay, so this level also has a secret exit. Here's 
what I like about this game. I don't even have to practice the levels before I do them. Because this game is by far one of the easiest Mario games there ever is. <coughs> like, this game is really fun to play. It's really chill to play, too. Okay, so... Where's the second star coin? I really don't know where it's at, but we'll find it. Don't worry. There it is! See, it's out in the open. I told you. All the star coins, most of them in this game are out in the open. Excuse me. Go. What exit do I want to do first? I guess I'll do the secret exit first, because I already have the trampoline. Okay, so to do the secret exit, what you gotta do is, um, <clears throat> you gotta put the trampoline right here, and then you use it to hit this block, and then use it to climb up. That's all you gotta do. Very easy. There we go. <clears throat> we got all three star coins and the secret aces. Okay, so, um. I'm gonna play the level one more time to do the regular exit. Now I'm just gonna do the regular exit. Okay, so we can just, we don't have to worry about star coins, which is nice. And we don't have to worry about using anything. We can just have fun and just enjoy the ride. Okay, so we're doing good. So we can collect a lot of coins in this level. That's what I really like about this level. You can collect a lot of coins. If you use this Cooper shell right here, you can collect several, several coins. Like you can do that. All right, we're doing good. We're almost at the end of the level. Excuse me. And there we go. We got the regular exit. I think that's how the secret exits World 5 has. This world is one of my favorites. I really like World 5 in this game. Because in Mario games, I've always enjoyed World 5's. We already know that. We're gonna do World 5 2 right now. This level is filled with lack of twos. This level is also a pretty easy level for the most part, at least.
Oh! I almost made it up there. Because I feel like there's the second star point is in this pot. Well, there's a star point up here, so I'm gonna try to um, make it up to there. And there we go. That's the third star coin? How is that not the second one? Oh. I thought that was going to be the second one. I didn't even see where the second one would be located at. I'll have to replay the level again. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect that to come. Come on, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. The first star coin is here, so... I'm looking for the second one. Where's the second one at? Where is the second star coin? Where is the second star coin? I'm looking for it. I have a feeling it's somewhere around here. I have a feeling it's right here. Oh. Maybe there's this pipe. Oh, I get it now. I didn't remember this before. Oh, I don't, I don't like Lakitus. Lakitus are so annoying. I don't like these guys. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. At least we're done World 5-2. That wraps up that level. We're going on to 5-3 now. Oh, I remember this level. I think this might be one of the ones that requires a mini mushroom. It might be. There's a lot of them in this game that require mini mushroom, and that sucks. I hate the mini mushroom so much. Excuse me. Okay, so I think I might get, um... Huh. Oh. <sighs> I forgot there's no spin move in this game. Okay, there's a mini mushroom. I think I need to use it to go inside the right pipe. Huh, that's funny how the mini mushroom didn't do that. Okay, we're gonna need the mini mushroom for one of the star coins, I know it. Which one is it that we're gonna need the mini mushroom for?
It's nice you can jump high with a mini mushroom, but I still don't like it. I don't like the mini mushroom. Ah, I'm trying to jump. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm jumping. I'm holding the jump button so I can jump as high as possible, but... Oh. Okay. There we go. We don't need mini mushroom no more. We don't need it no more. Forget this power up. We're gonna have to use it again later when we do the special world. And that sucks. I really hate this mini mushroom. I really do. It is abysmal. This is the most abysmal power up you can use. Oh, this power up is just abysmal. Which, which pipe did I go in? It. We got all those dark ones here. Nope. Okay. Okay. We're done with this level. Okay. We're done. That was probably the worst level in World 5 because of having to use a mini mushroom to get one of the stark ones. And you know I hate using that power up. I'm glad there's no other secret level. Let's do the tower now. <laughs> Time for the tower. I remember this tower. This is a very easy tower, actually, as long as you remember where the star coins are at. Okay. <clears throat> we should be good. Okay. I'm glad we got our first dark one. Oh yeah, we got our first dark one, but we need some tanuki suits. We really do. Thank you for giving me one. Okay, I can remember where the star points are at. The lava is rising here, so you have to be careful about that. Don't want one of the star points require the mini mushroom. Hopefully not. I don't think it does, but. Uh, this game has so many. This game like has so many mini mushroom levels. I don't like those. The mini mushroom is the worst. I know I'll have to do it again in New Super Mario Bros. DS if I ever do a playthrough of New Super Mario Bros. DS. I'm glad there's no mini mushroom requirements in this level for getting the star coins. That is amazing. I just know this game has so many mini mushroom levels and I hate finding it and I hate you. Okay. I don't know where the third star coin is. I don't even know. They hide it really good, and I can't even find it. I know where it's at. I know how to get it, but it's just really well hidden. Because <clears throat> they... I'm going to try to be fast. Excuse me. Hopefully it don't require no mini mushroom. Because this level don't even get... Ugh. Uh, 
I don't like using that many mushrooms. Hopefully there won't be any other level in this game that require... I know there will be in the special world some levels that require the mini mushroom. Mm. Especially in World Star. I'll have to use it again in New Super Mario Bros. DS if I ever do a playthrough of that game. Because I remember that game having so many mini mushroom levels and I hated those. Okay, so, I don't know why I struggled a little bit with this tower. It's just because I felt like I was past the third star coin. <laughs> oh! My gosh. I think we got our second star coin right there. Where's the third one? Feel like it's this way. Don't care. It was. <laughs> wow. Wow. Give me a power up. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. We got all three star coins. That's good. So now we just have to fight the boss here. Okay. So you just have to do this. Watch out for what they're doing. <laughs> All right, we're done with the Tower of World 5. We're like halfway through the world. Because we already did a few of the secret levels. <laughs> I'll go ahead and save. Why not? Okay, 5-4. Here we go. Oh! I love this level. I remember this one. I think there's one uh, mushroom we're gonna have to ride to get one of the start. Ah! I was being careful. There is no way I died. Thankfully, that is the first one. Mm -hmm. There we go. Second star coin was here. There was a mushroom I had to ride. I was right. I feared there was. Our third star coin. That's probably how the pros do it, is do it the way I did. But if you don't want to do it that way, you can just throw a Koopa shell at it and get it easily with a Koopa shell. We did it. Very easy level, like I said. All right, we're gonna do five dash five. After that, we'll do five dash six. After that, we'll do the castle. Then after that, we'll be done with world five. World 5 is fairly easy, like I've already said. It's not hard. Okay. Mm. 
excuse me. Alright, we already got, um, the first star coin, so now I have to get the second one. <clears throat> second one's here. We got our second star coin already. Where's the third star coin? Oh, I remember. It's right here. This star coin's a little tricky, so here's what you have to do. There we go! You have to be really precise with that timing right there. And there we go. We're done with 5-5. Not that difficult of a level. The hardest part is just getting that third star coin. And even that, the, just because that third star coin is kind of tricky to get. It's not hard by any means, it's just tricky. <clears throat> All right, five dash six, here we go. Okay, we'll need fire flower, cause I know we will to get one, the star points here. Okay. Where is the first dark one? <clears throat> I know there's a pipe back to go in, I think. I didn't even see it! I'm looking for the pipe that you're supposed to go in to get the star coin. I don't see it. I know how to do it, but... I just don't see the pipe. Where is it? I figured I'd go in a pot to get it. I was like, okay. But okay. Alright. Okay. Is this where the star coin is? I hope so. Because I've looked everywhere for it. There it is! I was right. It looks more like a desert underground area, even though it's not really a desert. But okay. We did it. Okay. I guess we we'll have to play this level twice. I forgot you had to play it twice. I don't want to play it twice, but we'll have to. We 
got our first two star coins. We had to get the Mega Mushroom to get our last one. I mean, I do remember that. So I hate that we have to play it twice in order to 100% this level. But it is what it is, I guess. Because I don't want to play it twice. I just want to play it once. Okay. Okay. Give me the Mega Mushroom. Thank you! We broke the flagpole! That's pretty awesome. Let's do the castle of World 5 and wrap up World 5. Excuse me. Uh, not a good way to start the castle. I was being careful, and I don't know how I still died, even though I was being careful. I don't know. All right, World 6 coming up next time. I, th I can't think. World 5. I can't I have a hard time deciding if it's World 5 or World 4 to be my favorite world in the game. I do kind of have a hard time deciding that. Okay. This is how you get up here. That's our first dark one. Okay. First dark one, very easy as I gotta do. Okay, second dark one's right here. I was ready to get it. There's no way I, I was too slow. Uh, there's no. That's the second star coin. Okay, so after we get our third star coin, it'll be time to get out of here. Okay, so we have to use this platform, I guess. And then we have to eat. Barely touch the star coin, and there we go. There we go! We did it! Woohoo! We did it! How did we do that? Now we're gonna fight Ludwig. Okay. All right, here's what you gotta do with Ludwig. Wait for him to be on one of these chains, go inside the pipe that's below the chain he's in, and then as soon as you knock him off, just jump on his head. And follow the shell back and forth, and as soon as he comes out, jump on his head. And repeat until he is out. That's all you gotta do. Very easy boss. That's all you gotta do. He's such an easy boss. He is not hard by any means. Wow, we did it. That was easy. We're done with World 5.
Oh, I love this world. I can't wait to do World 6. Now I think World 5 might be my favorite world. And my second favorite might have to be World 4. Because I really liked World 4. It was a lot of fun, too. Alright, guys. That's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell. Be notified every time I make new videos. Next time, we'll be in World 6. There'll be more in one part, I can assure you. There's a lot in World 6. We have a big world coming up. And have a wonderful day. Peace, Republic of Speedboy.